Let's go to the issue of the dress code and dwell on it for a few moments. Like I said moments ago, we don't want to judge our sisters based on the pressure of the environment and society for them to show what they have when what they have was given by Allah. Your complexion given to you by Allah. Your build given to you by Allah. Your, the type of hair you have given to you by Allah. It is pagan to judge based on that. Totally pagan, unacceptable. So Allah says, in order to give you the honor, we ask you to conceal. That's it. In order to give you the dignity, let's pause. You might argue that, okay, this was a long time ago, before the Islamic period that they did that. I want to tell you, we've come back to the stage today. Perhaps the pressure of society is worse than the pagan time. The reason I say this, at that time, they oppressed women with women knowing that they were oppressed. Today, they are, they are abusing female in a way that the females look forward to the abuse. That's what it is. They have, when they decided a long time ago, when they saw that we can no longer make use of the nude women to fulfill our lusts and desires to be paraded in front of us, they chose to do something more intelligent. They said to themselves, we will design clothing for them. We will make sure that we make it the in thing by promoting it in the media and by using whether it is movies or adverts or whatever else in order to promote what they are supposed to be doing in such a way that they consider it liberation to remove their clothing. So when they remove their clothing, they are now liberated. I remember in Africa, one of the leaders was commenting about how the world has forced women through, you know, brainwashing them to remove their clothing and consider that liberation. And he said, we in Africa, many years back before the colonialist came in, we used to wear feathers and skins to cover our private parts. And we used to move around with spears and daggers. And here comes the colonialist and tells us that, you know what? This is backward. This is really backward. It's unacceptable. You people are Bushmen. They called us Bushmen. You know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. They called us Bushmen. And they said, you people are not even clothed. And they came through with beautiful clothing, to be honest, that covered the female and even gave her a Victorian cap, which had a net. Subhanallah. They covered her so beautifully. And now the same African is saying, why? We were liberated. You took away our liberation because according to you now, you have changed everything and you are now going back to where we were by saying you go back and put on the skin and put on the feathers and just cover the front and the back and you are liberated. So we were already there. You took us out of civilization and you brought us into degradation. And now, according to you, you're taking us back to civilization. But that's not the case. It means there is something sinister. It means a brain and a mind that is a thinking mind will actually go and ponder and will say definitely something is wrong here. Something is wrong.